Hey guys, it's iPhone Elves here, and I'm just gonna make a quick video on how to get the new uh, iPhone OS 4.0 because I've been getting a lot of emails on how to get it. So I decided to make a video. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to the link in the sidebar, which is down below, which is uh, my website. So it's gonna be right here. Uh, you might see the post. If you don't see the post, just click on downloads. Let that load, and then you'll see here. So it says here uh, you you will need to register your device, your ID device with the Double Up account if you have one, or you can purchase one. Uh, just Google it, on, Google Google it on Google, and you'll find like people are selling it for like five, ten dollars. Just uh, give them the, your ID, and it will be activated. Because you will need to uh, get that ID in order to use the firmware. So here you can download the firmware for the iPod Touch. It's for the iPod Touch third generation, iPod Touch second generation, iPhone 3GS, and 3G. Uh, here, the, you can also download the SDK. So, once you have that downloaded, it will come in a zip folder. So, you will need to rename it to dot. So, re rename it to dot IPSW, and then click yes. And then it will turn into this iTunes uh, firmware uh, icon. So once you have that, and once you have the your ID registered, you're gonna open up iTunes. So once you have your, your iPod connected to iTunes, uh, it will come up. Uh, click on your iP device, and then when you see the shift, click Shift Restore. If you're on a Mac, click uh, uh, Control Shift, and then browse for the firmware that you just downloaded. So my one's right about over uh, right here, and then you click open, and then it's gonna start restoring. Uh, I'm not gonna do this because you, know, you guys know I have the iPod Touch third generation, I mean second generation, and for the iPod Touch second generation, uh, multitask is not available, and basically there's no point of me doing it because multitask is the biggest thing about the new firmware. So I decided not to do it. Uh, I'm gonna wait uh, later on, and then I'm gonna update. But if you guys have the iPhone 3GS and 3G, you guys should try it out, uh, try the beta. And if you don't like it, you can also, you can always downgrade back to 3.1.3. .3. So yeah, guys, this is, the, this is a quick video on how to get the new iPhone 4.0 OS beta. So that's all about it, guys. Don't forget to rate or leave a thumbs up and comment, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.